Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Meter and we are going to talk about the differences between connection oriented and connectionless services in transmitting data from one location to another in a computer network. All right, what is a computer network? A computer network is basically two computers that transmit data to one another using various network protocols. The more computers connect to each other, the bigger the network becomes and there are more challenges to overcome in transferring data between nodes. Factors like distance, current, protocol, latency, and many other define the performance of a computer network. There are certain ways to establish connection between two network locations in a computer network. Connection-oriented and connectionless services are two types of communication services that use different approaches to transfer data between two entities. What is connection-oriented service? A connection-oriented service is used to create an end-to-end -end connection between the sender and the receiver before transmitting data over the same or different network. In this connection, a communication session or a semi-permanent connection is established before any useful data can be transferred. After the connection is established, the data packets are transmitted through the communication protocol. The data is transmitted in packets, but their order is the same as the order that the sender has defined. In this type of communication, the whole bandwidth of the connection is allocated to data transmission. The network in which data is transmitted can be of any type, even a connectionless network like TCP or Internet Protocol by forming a virtual circuit. In connection-oriented communication, the method in which data is transferred is as follows. If we consider device A as sender and device B as receiver, Device A creates a connection by sending a request packet to device B in the form of a SYN packet. After this, the receiver responds to the sender with a SYN ACK packet acknowledging the SYN packet from device A. After that, the sender will send data or message to the receiver. The packets are ordered in connection-oriented method, meaning that each packet contains the information of the previous and the next packet, giving receiver perfect way to order data providing a reliable communication. As you see, the data packets are delivered in order and are filled in the target frame in the receiver side. Each complete frame is transferred to higher level until the data is presented in the application layer. What is connectionless service? A connectionless service is used in the network system to transfer data from one end to another end without creating any connection, so there's no need to create a connection between the endpoints before transmitting data. The packets in connectionless communication are called datagram. The data is transmitted in packets, but they are not ordered, and the receiver may receive data packets in any order and data packets only contain the receiver address. UDP and Internet Protocol are examples of connectionless service. In connectionless communication, the method in which data is transferred is as follows. If we consider device A as sender and device B as receiver, device A will send datagrams to device B without checking if it's online or available, without order. As you see, the data packets are delivered out of order and are filled in the target frame in the receiver side. Device B will receive datagrams from device A and rearrange them into data files. Each complete frame is transferred to the higher level until the data is presented in the application layer. The packets are not ordered in connectionless communication. These packets only contain the address of the receiver the sender also will not check the availability of the receiver, thus, it is not considered a reliable communication. Receiver will request retransmission of a datagram if not received successfully in some protocol. 
These were the basic differences of connectionless and connection-oriented service in transmitting data from one network location to another. Please hit the subscribe button and we will be talking much more on network protocols, transmitting data modes, and all about applications of data measurement and transmission in energy grids and metering industry. Thank you.